everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Some adjustments will have to be made by both teams here as the weather has turned nasty and rain will be coming down throughout this game. Let's see who can manage the wet conditions better. It's the Ravens going up against the Dolphins. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to rain-soaked Miami, Florida. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the side of their Dolphins emerging from the Hard Rock Stadium tunnels, and we are ready to go as the Dolphins get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Welcome in, everyone, alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. So you've got one week of preseason games in the books. Now you start to really assess some of the vets and, of course, some of the young players. You're exactly right, because now there's a week's worth of film out there for everyone to watch. And for guys who may or may not make these particular teams, that film will be out there around the league, so maybe they can catch on somewhere else if they have to. But this would be a lot of fun to see how much time the veterans play versus how much time the young guys get. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. Now West. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Third down, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
And out come the Dolphins now. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? And a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. So now here in the second week of the preseason, you'd expect the starters play a little bit more than they did in week one, but not a whole lot. So if you're an offensive coordinator, what are you looking for? What you're looking for is things getting cleaned up as you go along because most of your playbook's probably installed. How well are they handling it? Easy in and out of the huddle? No mental mistakes? Are they starting to look like a good offensive football team? They lost two there, and it's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now fails. Eluding the pressure right. And he finds Stills complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Throwing his fails. Flushed out right. It's caught. Stills right side. Wow, a vase. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kenny Stills, 48 yards. And the Dolphins can take the lead with the extra point. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Or are you one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you trust skeptical. it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, 
That rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From South Florida, good night, everybody.